Oh, you know what? I almost forgot. You remember George Stevens? We had that astronomy class with him at UCLA. He sat behind us. The guy who always carried his lunch to campus in a baggie. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's changed a little bit since then. I forgot about those baggies. Anyway, we share some of the same clients now. And he came by the office this afternoon and gave me this to give to you. It's a project he's working on, and uh, I told him he might be interested. Audition. Hey, they want jazz dancers. Yeah, and the first auditions are next Thursday at 9 o'clock. Now, I promised George you'd get there a little early to meet with him. He knows you're coming in from the desert, so if you're a little bit late, that's okay. But you'd be better off getting there as soon as you can. I showed him your video, and he's really looking forward to seeing you again. Jeff, you know, I, I really have to teach. Get a substitute. No, I just, I just can't. Jenny, it's just a class. This is a movie with real dancing and real money. I don't see what the problem is. You don't, do you? Look, I got you an audition. You said you wanted to work. This is your chance. George has practically guaranteed me you get the job. Sorry. Can't you just phone him back and tell him I can't make it? Are you kidding? You're gonna pass this up for an aerobics class? It's not just one class. And what if I get the part? Then what? Jeff, if I leave now, I'm gonna have to quit my job. And there's a lot of people I care about. I'm important to them. Taking a part like this in a movie means having to say goodbye to them, and I'm not ready to do that right now. Jen, do you really want to spend the rest of your life out here in the desert teaching aerobics? It's not the aerobics that are keeping me here, Jeff. You know that. I suppose. I told Molly we'd go skating with her tonight. That's all right, isn't it? Sure, Jen. Great. I'm going to go change that. Spike, he'll be back in a minute.